Hello, fellow horse lovers, and welcome back to the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. Today, we're tackling a topic that many of us have faced at some point, overcoming the fear of horseback riding. Trust me, I get this. I'm not as young as I used to, and I don't bounce quite as well. It hurts. At 61, my body is not the same as it was at 25. But whether you're new to the equestrian world or you're a seasoned rider who's had a setback, fear can be a real barrier to enjoying this beautiful connection with horses. But don't worry, you're not alone. And today, I'm sharing some tips to help you regain your confidence in the saddle. First and foremost, it's important to acknowledge your fear. You can't run from it, it's there, right? So you gotta face it. And you got, you, you really, you need to understand that it's okay to feel this way. They're big animals, they're powerful animals. And of course you're gonna feel intimidated at times. But remember, even the most experienced riders have days when they feel nervous. The key is not to ignore your fear, but to work through it. One of the best ways to start overcoming your fear is by building trust from the ground up. So spend some time with your horse on the ground. Lead them around, groom them. Really get to know their personality. This will help you and your horse develop a bond of trust. And that's crucial for feeling safe when you're in the saddle. You know, there are times when I'm not feeling all that confident and I'll just tack up Dakota. I'll put a saddle on, his bridle, uh, a halter under the bridle with a lead rope, and I'll lead him out on the trails until I get to a place where like I'm not dysregulated anymore. I'm not feeling over anxious or stressed. I'm breathing properly. And that's when I'll find a rock or a stump and I'll climb on his back. And it usually, it almost always ends up being a really nice, enjoyable ride. You really need to take things one step at a time. So start with short, easy rides at a walk before you gradually progress to a trot and then a canter. And remember, there's no rush. You got to set small, achievable goals for every ride and then celebrate those small victories. If you're not comfortable trotting or cantering today, that's okay. The more positive experiences that you can accumulate, the more your confidence will grow. Your body language and breathing can greatly influence how you feel. <laughs> and many times, you know, this, this I've noticed from coaching people on the show ring, I'll look at them and it's like, you're not breathing. And I have to remind them, breathe. So before you even get on your horse, it's really important that you take a few deep breaths and that'll help calm your nerves. Focus on keeping your shoulders relaxed and your hands soft. Horses are incredibly perceptive and they can sense when you're tense. By staying calm, you are signaling to your horse that everything is fine. If you are feeling anxious, that's the time when it's crucial to work with a calm and experienced horse. This is not the time to get on a green horse, okay? Nobody who has a lot of issues with anxiety around horses should should really ever be riding, you know, a, a green inexperienced horse. That horse is looking to you for trust and connection and confidence. So know your mount, you know, don't over don't over horse over horse yourself, over mount yourself. A horse that's steady and well trained is going to give you the confidence you need to feel safe. So you want that husband horse, you know, the one you'd put a, a real green rider on, and that's not a green horse. It's probably an older horse. It's got a lot of miles, seen a lot of things, and happy to just cart you around, but that'll help build your confidence. You know, if you're working with a young or unpredictable horse, that 
might be a signal to you that it's time to switch to a more suitable mount while you rebuild your confidence. It's no shame in that. And sometimes you need some help. So working with a professional instructor who understands what your fears are is going to make a huge difference for you and your horse. They can offer you guidance, exercises, and encouragement to help you progress at your own pace. Being in a supportive environment is really key to overcoming anxiety. Remember, overcoming your fear of horseback riding is a journey, not a race. So you need to be patient with yourself, celebrate those small victories, and never be afraid to ask for some help. Most importantly, enjoy the process and that special bond you share with your horse. You've got this. Alrighty, if you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your own experiences in the comment below. Until next time, happy riding and stay confident. Bye!